Uh, so welcome to uh, offline edition uh, of Quizzing with the Comedians. Uh, three people who we picked from a prelims that we just did. And these are the top three people out of more than 100 people. Uh, we'll call the three teams one by one. Uh, let's call the guests first, OK? Uh, um, our first contestant is again someone who you've all seen in Quizzing. He reached many finales, has not won yet. Uh, in fact, last many finales, I think uh, Mela uh, final, uh, Bistek final, uh, another final, lot of finals. And he's here again. Give it up for Devaya Bopanna. Check, check. I'm the South Africa of quizzing, you know, like, <laughs> keep coming to the finals, choking. <laughs> Choker. <laughs> nice. Okay, our next contestant, PQRS. I'm really bad with alphabetical wala, so PQRS. R will come before S, right? Okay, here's someone who has also reached many finale and actually won it. <laughs> Almost every, like, except the Mela edition, which is the only exception, he has won every, not just every finale, but every quiz he has ever been part of. Give it up for Rohan Joshi. <laughs> what champion? Chess champion. Oh, yeah, wo bhi chal raha hai I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> don't want to talk about it. Even the, you know, quiz finals that Rohan lost, I didn't manage to win that. <laughs> Oh my God, okay. Uh, another, another uh, like extremely, one of my favorites, one of crowd's favorite uh, quizzing contestant, uh, reached movies edition finale and a bunch of amazing performances. Otherwise, geography nerd, movie geek, give it up for Smritika Panigrahi. Hello, okay. hello. Now let's call their uh, partners for the quiz. Let's start with the uh, Rohan Joshi's partner first, okay, is, uh, Anand Rao, right? Yes, Anand. <laughs> then let's call uh, Devaya's partner is uh, Jay Rana. Yes. Jay and Dev. Jay Dev. Nice. Now, tension to kiss ka hoga? Fuck, good summon ni aara. Shit. <laughs> let's call Smritika's partner, Soumya. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's do one quick intro for just the three of you. So we'll start with Dave and Jay. Jay, just tell the audience about it. I'll feel free to say whatever. This is not a... Yeah. yeah. Jay. Uh, so hi, everyone. Uh, I am Jay. I work at Sony, right now, Sony Music. Amazing. Give it up for Jay. Jay. No, no. There's so much budget, babe. Call it from the college. There's one mic for everyone. Pass it. Okay, we go to now Rohan's partner, which is Anand. <laughs> Hi, my name is Anand. I'm originally from Chennai. I've been working in Mumbai now for the last seven years as a strategy consultant. Wow. That's a weight tha iski baat mein, na? Strategy consultant, sunte hi sab ekdam, there was a collective fan. Nahi, nahi, ye, ye janta hai. He, he knows. He has strategy also and consultant. Like, yeah. you know, it's usually like a one of those, but yeah. It's, to answer, you can speak. You don't have to make a PPT. <laughs> For every answer, he's like, next slide now. <laughs> like, bullet point me answer kar raha. Okay, Anand, strategy consultant. Uh, okay, with that, we go to the third contestant now, who is Soumya. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so hello, everyone. I'm an, I'm an independent ah. writer researcher. Independent writer researcher. You're like, anyway, Bantai, up an independent artist. <laughs> he goes to Anand and says, I'm a janta kamai chote. <laughs> also, uh, looking at Samya, it feels like there will be election ka discussion hoga. And Samya will be like, you know, the dem demographics. And the, if I look at UP and the caste equation in the Purvanchal area, it's very like, you know, very... Uh, you know what I love you know about you? Well, you know, KV, what I love about you is that you don't believe in stereotypes. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's never. It's my never. favorite thing about you when I think about it. I see a Yogi <laughs> Yadav and I never hold back. <laughs> But uh, just My so you know, just so you know, I asked him, uh, just out of curiosity, what do you research? He's like, anything from politics to uh, a TV show. See? So, <laughs> hey, you're a Redditor, hai na, basically. Redditor, what do you research? Bolda hai. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe better at 2 o'clock. Trash talk, please. Trash talk. 
<laughs> so you guys can just give a team name to yourself uh, and whatever, whatever team name you want to give yourself so that it's like team, a otherwise we'll say ABC if that works for you. We Let's have a name something. already, we're so so. So so, oh, team so so. <laughs> team so so, uh, Sophie and Soumya. Okay, anything there? Team names? I think uh, we'll call ourselves, uh, we'll call the team winners. So even if we lose, <laughs> <laughs> team winner. <laughs> team winners. <laughs> okay, the name, no? <laughs> team winner. Uh, for our team name, I'd like to uh, hand things over to our strategy consultant. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> our, our team, our team's name is dot PPT. Dot PPT. Done. Dot 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 dot, dot PPT. PPT. <laughs> Good team chemistry already established by failed fist bump. <laughs> That absolutely didn't happen in front of 100 people. <laughs> like... Team.ppt. Okay. <laughs> Rohan Anand. Almost signs, sounds like a musical duo from 90s. Hai na? Hai na? <laughs> Gaane likhe hai Sameer ne aur music hai Rohan Anand ka. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay, guys. Have, let's have fun. Let's do some quizzing. Okay, the order will be uh, team winners followed by team PPT and then dot PPT. And then uh, a team so so. Okay. Cool. First question to team one. Uh, displayed here is part of the logo of a German company which has been under immense limelight in the past two years. Okay. The NT here stands for new technologies. Okay. Just identify the company. So this is part of that company's logo. And uh, German company, limelight in the past two years, that's a hint. Are we? Can you answer? Yes, of course. Yeah, so this is the, the vaccine maker BioNTech. BioNTech, beautiful crack, what a start. <laughs> 10 points there for team <laughs> BioNTech. They made the vaccine with Pfizer, COVID-19 vaccine, brilliant, 10 points. Yesterday the very first question went to audience, so I was like, what's going on? After two rounds, they were like, fuck. But That's why yeah. we got the audience members here today. <laughs> no, 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 yesterday also. They <laughs> but you know what, like, that's what I was telling these guys in the back. Uh, I think we won't embarrass ourselves too much today because one half of each team is here because of natural selection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the other half is here just because we like KV's Instagram posts. <laughs> Fair, fair, fair. Okay, it's BioNTech, uh, and then now we go to uh, team.ppt. Uh, okay, until 2003, a rule required players to bow or curtsy to the royal family's dash upon entering or leaving dash dash. In 2003, the rule was mo uh, modified so that players only had to bow or curtsy if Queen Elizabeth II or Prince Charles happened to be making an appearance that day. That ruling effectively meant no bowing or curtsying since the Queen has attended X only four times in 1957, 1962, 1977 and 2010. And in 2012, the Prince went to X for the first time in 42 years. The rule was the brainchild of the president of the blank 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 who just happens to be the Queen's first cousin, Prince Edward, the Duke of, the Duke of Kent. Okay, just put Funda, tell me what are we talking about, what is X? Um, so, the Queen has attended only four times and the Prince went for the first time in 42 years. So, it's mm. the toilet, basically. <laughs> Good. That would make sense, <laughs> looking at their faces. Um, but okay, is this, um, it's basically, it's Wimbledon. Right? It, is Wimbledon. it is Wimbledon, yes, yes. 10 points there. Wimbledon, Wimbledon is correct. Wimbledon is correct. 10 points to team. The more PPT. important thing is we just had our first successful fist bump. Let's do it again. <laughs> it's starting to come together, guys. Strategy takes time, right? Anand, yeah, thoda time lagta hai. Invoice pahunchne ke baad, usually. <laughs> Consultants. <laughs> okay, we come back to closer home. Sophie, Matt's question for you. What else? Oh! In algebra, the X Fibonacci of Fibonacci, identity expresses the product of two sums of two squares as sum of two squares in two different ways. Hence, the set of all sums of two squares is closed under multiplication. 
Specifically, the identity says a square plus b square, one bracket, c square plus d square equal to blah, blah, blah. That's not important. What is important is, along with Fibonacci, the other guy, the other mathematician, was a 7th century Indian mathematician, an astronomer from Western India. Okay? Tell me who was X. Like this equation is known as X Fibonacci. X is an Indian person, Indian name. Who are we talking about? I want to thank you very much for this question. I'm, I've become Ishan Avasti, like the words are dancing. <laughs> I genuinely, I, I have, I've not even read it. PTSD, full, that A square, B square, solid, full PTSD. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Research. No, no, I can just take a guess. Ah. Yeah. Chandra? No. Okay. Uh, Passing to team A. What was your guess? Hemachandra. Hemachandra. Think, see, this is the only mathematician's name I know. He suggested two, three of them, but... Uh, <laughs> Arya Bhatta? Not Arya Bhatta. Good guess. Uh, I also had that guess only. <laughs> it thoda bahut aata hai. <laughs> Team uh, dot PPT. Man, I don't know the names of a lot of mathematicians because it's like my least favorite genre of music. Uh, <laughs> it's, it just makes no sense and at the end you fail. It's... <laughs> I've already provided my inputs. <laughs> like, yeah, you have nice handwriting, <laughs> thanks. Like... <laughs> but why the fuck you write their answer? He's <laughs> <laughs> the bond strategy consultant. I have actually provided have my inputs. Inputs. <laughs> That's how he normally have, speaks. Yeah. And, and the input is usually the first result from Google. Yeah. <laughs> which is Arya Bhatta. <laughs> oh uh, okay, 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 okay. The X, the match identity, the... Anything? Anything at all? No. The, you, you, said, you said Arya Bhatta, right? Yeah, they said Arya Bhatta. Cool. Um, I'm just going to say uh, Rajesh. <laughs> it's a common enough Indian name. You throw it. There's a chance one in ten questions may be the correct answer. Okay. My I, my final answer is unless you have changed, it's Rajesh. My answer is Rajesh. Rajesh? No, not the Rajesh Fibonacci <laughs> identity. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll take one more round. Uh, the name starts with B. Okay, B for, for beta. Bhaskacharya. Not Bhaskaracharya. Going to team A, team winners. I knew the Wimbledon answer. We both <laughs> did. And the first one also we knew, just saying. This match, nobody knows. Any clue? No? I'm depending on you, dude. Like, counting on you right now. <laughs> Please. Pass. Pass. <laughs> okay. Like all my math answers. <laughs> like pass. Is it Brajesh? <laughs> <laughs> if not Rajesh. Ye do log ko dekha tha maine ek din. <laughs> Fibonacci ke saath kuch to kar rahe the. Xerox <laughs> kara rahe the. Tino niche kade ho ke. Important question mark kar rahe the. Brajesh and Rajesh. It is Brahma Gupta, okay? Brahma Gupta. It's known as Brahma Gupta Fibonacci theorem or identity. Okay, we'll come back to team C, team so so, since no one got it. Uh, I'm looking at two, two words, X and Y, okay? Uh, the name X, so we're looking at X now, is derived from various languages' names for the juniper berry, uh, where X gets much of its flavor. X became extremely popular in the British colonies due to its use as an additive in concoctions intended to prevent malaria. Colonists in tropical areas would use X to mask the bitter flavor of quinine, which is an anti-malarian drug, by dissolving it in carbonated water, forming Y, and then adding a splash of X. Now, this X and Y drink later made its way back to the rest of the world, and the rest is history. So we all know X and Y, and we use it quite often together, X and Y. What are we talking about? Uh, we know this. I'm just saying, even if it's wrong, we I know this. I can see the swagger. Who's drinking water? Strategically. Yeah. Uh, 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 it's gin yeah. and tonic. Gin and tonic. That is correct. It is gin uh, and Mr. tonic. Mr. Researcher answered. I was thinking it's stranger and sons. <laughs> <laughs> One splash of stranger you put. No. <laughs> splash of stranger in a carbonated sun. In carbonated sun. 
understand. <laughs> gin and tonic. Gin and tonic is correct. Oh man. मजा आता है ना क्वेश्चन दिखते ही जब आंसर बता होता है। I saw, he saw in like चलो पानी पीते। Yeah. By when you're on the second line, he's like I know this. Yeah. Okay, gin and tonic is correct, which means I'm going to team one now. Team winners. Okay, again I'm looking at x and y. X created y. Okay. So x made up the name y. However, y is a German name that means stone of the dash. Historian Radu Freshku claimed that her family. Which is uh, basically, when I say her, it's X. Okay, so her family uh, visited Castle Y on a journey up the Rhine River. While there, they must have learned about an unbalanced alchemist named Conrad Dippel, who used to live in the castle. He was trying to create an elixir called Dippel's Oil, which would make people live for over a hundred years, like Victor Y. So there's a hint for Y. Dippel was rumored to dig up graves and experiment on the bodies. Not all historians are convinced that there is a link between this story or how, how much this story is true. However, pointing out there is no indication why he had a castle in the novel and that X never mentioned visiting the castle herself in any of her writing about her trip up the Rhine. X and Y. So Y is a character. X is the person behind the character. And then there are a bunch of hints for both X and Y. Part points are available if you get only one of those two. Give uh, you any hints on timeline? Um, no, but think thoda piche. Like castle vessel. Hai. <laughs> <laughs> Matlab parso ke pehle. Yeah. Okay. Pre pandemic for sure. Haan. <laughs> We'll see if like a round table if needed. नहीं आता है तो pass कर दो यार कोई pressure नहीं है मतलब. Yeah, he's he's drinking water already. Yeah, yeah. Clear, clear sign. एक दो एक दो और equations fake ना मजा आएगा. Okay. Team winners. Uh, we'll say, uh, so is Y also female? Uh, no, not revealed. No. Okay, uh, Agatha Christie and uh, Hercule, Hercule Poirot. No, not Agatha Christie. Not. Uh, like looking at all the clues given here, it's obviously Priyadarshan and Babu Rao. <laughs> <laughs> but when, before, what a lot of people don't know is that before he was called Babu Rao, he was called Victor Frankenstein. And that was Mary Shelley. That is correct, beautiful crack. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is Mary Shelley and Frankenstein. You guys also knew this? I obviously did. Why is it even a doubt? I mean, I obviously did. Come on. <laughs> I didn't. <sighs> okay. Going to team, uh, uh, team C now, which is team Soso. In a 1997 PIL judgment, the Supreme Court cancelled the Bharat Ratna of X who was awarded Bharat Ratna in 1992, but couldn't be awarded and later withdrawn because of a legal technicality. It is the only time when the award was announced but not conferred. Okay, So I want two things from you. Who are we talking about and what is the issue? What happened? Why, why couldn't they give uh, Bharat Ratna to X? And basically, what was the legal technicality? So it's uh, Subhash Chandra Bose, and the issue was because he was missing, they were not sure if he's dead or he's alive. Yeah, beautiful, 10 points. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. It is, uh, they awarded posthumous Bharat Ratna to Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, and then his close families and his followers said that we, we are not sure if he's dead or alive. Uh, so, yeah. The original lineup for this quiz was Anirban, so <laughs> that's why. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then in January. That's why I put one Please Netaji put one question. maths question for Anirban then, okay? If we are getting this. <laughs> Posthumous Bharat Ratna to Subhash Chandra Bose. Okay. Cool. Going to team winners now, team one. Talking about a show, okay? In the early 1990s, ex-co-creators, the show co-creators, wrote a seven-page pitch 
for a new sitcom titled Insomnia Cafe. In addition to the different title, the plot itself was initially quite different from what came to be known as X. Okay. Ah, there's a collective <laughs> this thing in the audience. You can sense ki. Ah, ye kya puch raha hai? <laughs> After NBC bought the pilot, the title became X Like Us. Okay. Uh, NBC president Warren Littlefield came up with another title that was also considered, which was called Across the Hall. By the time they shot it, the title had switched again to Six of One. Okay. <laughs> When the show premiered on September 22, 1994, <laughs> you get your timeline now? <laughs> they had finally landed on X. Okay, what's that, Rohan? Uh, my technical issue with this question is that there aren't enough hints. Yeah, yeah. That is <laughs> I, I was about to tell. Yeah. It's, it's an issue. We know, you know timeline <laughs> and like channel and everything. It's a really <laughs> tough one. Like, yeah. you know, but like, it could be friends maybe. No, like, no, it's like Ross telling Emma how I met your mother. <laughs> friends. Wow. Friends? Sure? <laughs> sure, no? <laughs> cool. Correct. Okay, 10 points there. It is, of course, friend. <laughs> friend, okay. Okay, now we are going to... Huh, so earlier it was called Friends Like Us, Insomnia Cafe, etc., etc. Okay, now going to team uh, .ppt. Uh, okay, interesting story. One of those stories you discover while you make a quiz. Uh, so I discovered this story, loved it and I put it as a quiz question. Duff Armstrong is a, a guy who was accused of a murder a few minutes before the midnight of August 29th, 1857. X was a friend, so now we're talking about the certain, uh, a certain guy who was friend of his father, and father had just died, okay? So X was a friend of his father who had just died, and so X offered to help defend him uh, without pay as a favor. The principal prosecution witness against Armstrong was a, ma was a man named Charles Allen, who testified that he had seen the murder from about 150 feet away. X, okay, the guy that we are looking for. X asked Alan how he could tell that it was Armstrong, given that it was middle of the night, and he was also a considerable distance away from the murder scene. So Alan replied, I saw, I saw him by the light of the moon. Okay, upon hearing Alan's testimony, X then went back, he produced a copy of the 1857 Farmer's Almanac, and showed the jury that not only was the moon in the first quarter, but it was riding low on the horizon, about to set at the precise time of the murder. So he argued that the witness could not possibly have had enough light to see what he claimed, and asked the judge to take notice of the moon's low position. Okay? So the story is interesting because someone used a farmer's almanac, uh, almanac to like to defend a person of a murder charge. Okay? The judge agreed, and the jury found Armstrong not guilty and Duff Armstrong was acquitted. Just tell me who was the lawyer, okay? Who was the guy fighting for Duff Armstrong? First of all, I'd just like to praise the lawyer for being one of the few people who buys the farmer's almanac for the articles. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think that's commendable. Uh, for further inputs though, I'd like to go now to our strategy consultant. Strategy consultant. Uh, <laughs> if that's okay. Next slide, please. <laughs> uh, so what my thoughts and the synergy that is created in this law firm. <laughs> Is this uh, Abraham Lincoln? It is Abraham Lincoln. Yes, that is correct. This timeline, lawyer, it is Ab Abraham Lincoln. Okay, full 10 points. Is it just me or is that an oddly sexy portrait <laughs> of Abraham Lincoln? He's got like, and I don't mean this to be disrespectful to either of them, but without the beard, he's got like this Karthik Aryan vibe, right? Like, it's, never mind. I think the monologue won him the presidency. <laughs> <laughs> War ka panchnama. I never thought someone would compare Lincoln to Karthik Aryan Rohan. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> I, oh, think, I think Viral Bayani just heard Karthik Aryan and Bandrai standing outside right now. <laughs> Any second. <laughs> oh, Karthik Aryan going emancipating all the paparazzi people. <laughs> Four scores and... Oh, okay. Abraham Lincoln is correct. We now go to uh, Team C, which is... Uh, Team so so. Okay. Uh, we're talking about three things here, three unknowns. Okay. X and Y didn't spend much time at Z, not feeling specially inclined to bask in their feet and running low on precious oxygen. The duo spent just around 15 minutes on Z. Okay. They hugged, took care of a few bits of business, and headed back down to safety. Okay. The pair buried a few more personal trinket, trinkets at Z. 
X left a crucifix on behalf of a friend and expedition leader, Baron Henry John Hunt, while Y left a collection of chocolates and biscuits for the gods who oversaw Z. Okay, tell me the three unknowns, X and Y and Z. So X and Y are obviously people, Z is a place. Eight second. <laughs> so you guys missed it, but what happened was, uh, Soumya has seen a question. He said this. And Sophie said this. And then he sat. And then Sophie is reading the question. And then Anand... Soumya goes, Answer it! And Sophie is like, let me read! Okay. Uh, is this uh, Sir Edmund Hillary, Tenzing Norgay, and Mount Everest? Yes, that is correct. Beautiful. It is uh, Hillary and Norgay and the peak of Mount Everest. Beautiful crack. Okay, now we'll reverse the order. Let's check the scores once. Team uh, one, which is uh, Dave and Jay, uh, team winners, are on 20 points. <laughs> team dot PBT, represented by Rohan and Anand, are on 30 points. And Team C, which is Team Soso, represented by Sophie and Soumya, are also on 30 points. <laughs> okay, now we'll reverse the order. Uh, okay, Team Soso, Team Dot PPT, Team Winners. Okay, let's begin the second half. This is for uh, you guys. Okay, we are coming to movies now. Okay, X was the second animated movie in the history of the Academy Awards to receive a nomination for Best Picture. Okay. The first was Beauty and the Beast in 1992. Now this movie, X was nominated alongside movies as Avatar and Glorious Bastards. X ended up losing out on the award to Catherine Bigelow's Iraq War, as they say, Iraq War thriller, The Hurt Locker. Okay, essentially, so you know the timeline now because of the other movies. We also know Animated and second movie after Beauty and the Beast to be nominated for Best Movie. Okay, which movie are we talking about? Fun pack, I say, Anne is a very full Oscar list. Ratta Mark, I just, I cannot remember now. Oh, what is? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll take a guess. Yes. It's going to hurt, but is it Wally? Not Wally. Going to Team Dot PPT. Were you also thinking of Wally? Yes. So okay. thank you. <laughs> okay. Is it up? It is up. Yes! Yes! It is up. Beautiful answer. Ten points. Potentially the deciding answer of the quiz, I feel. Beautiful. Up. Great crack. Up. Up is correct. Well done. Did you guys know up? No? We're going for inside out, actually. Inside out. Ah, okay. Cool. Okay, up is correct, which means I go to team uh, team winners now. Okay, I'm describing a certain day, okay? April 30, all times are approximate. 1 a.m., Keetel gives status reports to X. 4 a.m., Dr. Hase and dog handler Tornov feed cyanide pills to German Shepherd Blondie. The capsule works and the dog dies almost immediately. 10.30 a.m., X meets with Helmuth Wilding. 2 p.m., X, Y, and others sit down for lunch. X promises them that he'll give them vials of cyanide if they wish to use them. He apologizes for being unable to give them a better present. 3.30 p.m., roused by a loud sound, L Linje Ling, who has served as X's valet for a decade, opens the door to the study. The smell of burnt almonds, a harbinger of cyanide, wafts through the door. Basically, what are we talking about? What is this day's funda? Who are these people? What's happening? Or just give me X, Y, that's enough. Uh, this Sorry, is... Uh, whenever you're ready. Hitler's death? Yeah, yeah, that is correct. It is, we are talking about Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun's last day. Yeah, the names are very German and like a German Shepherd and everything. And Suicide and huh. okay, Hitler and Eva Braun's last day. 
Okay, going to team C now, team Soso. Thousands of pilgrims travel here each year to complete a Kora, which is walking around 52 kilometers around its base. Tibetans believe it takes seven lifetimes to accumulate enough merit for the right to travel there. Some pilgrims drop to the ground and offer body length prost prostrations each step of the way in a deeply devoted act of prayer and submission. Each Kora, it, uh, it is believed, amasses good karma and blessings. Which place are we talking about? We have a guess, we're not yes. sure. Uh, is it Kanchenjunga? Not Kanchenjunga. Going to team B. So a very wild guess. Is it Karakoram? Not Karakoram. Team 1. Um, is it uh, Kailash Parbat? Yes, it is Mount Kailash. <laughs> Beautiful. It is Mount Kailash. Okay. One of the most sacred uh, mountain, like mountain peaks in Hinduism and um, Buddhism and everywhere else. Great crack. It is uh, Mount Kailash. So a lot of that. effort for Pani Puri. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to, <laughs> about to tell him Mukesh Ammani mahi jata. Pani Puri khane Kailash parbat. And you need to be like, <laughs> you need to, you need seven lifetimes to <laughs> accumulate <laughs> enough merit to have. <laughs> Mount Kailash, 10 points there to team uh, winners. Okay, coming to you guys now, team C, team Soso. -so. Okay, just f if you guys are tracking this course right now, are 40, 40, 40, 40, 30. Okay. X was founded in 1915 by seven Italian brothers in northern Italy to manufacture wooden propellers under military contracts. Based in California, in 1920, the brothers also dabbled briefly with aircraft design and manufacture with a single seat monoplane and a seven seat cabin monoplane, but were essentially unsuccessful with only one of each type being built. So they started doing this, but couldn't really succeed. Later, in 1956, when Candido X's toddler, okay, so X, same as this guy's surname, Candido X's toddler was diagnosed with rheumat, like some sort of arthritis, okay. The brothers designed a pump, the J300, that could be submerged in a bathtub to provide hydrotherapy treatments, okay. Just tell me what this guy started, what is X, what are we talking about? Um, guess is jacuzzi. Yes, it is jacuzzi. Brilliant crack. Yes, guys, jacuzzi. thanks. Thanks. It is wow. It is jacuzzi. <laughs> Super answer. It is jacuzzi. Uh, water, hydraulic pump, etc., etc. Okay, team uh, dot PPT now. According to X, Y was based on a girl who climbed over his wall one morning and accused him of being the father of one of her twins. Quincy Jones wanted X to change the title to Not My Lover to avoid possible confusion with the song being about the sports person Z. Okay? Identify X, Y, and Z. Nice. Kya must concise. No, bolte na. Shakespeare ne the brevity is the wit of the soul of the wit. Kya ho raha yaar? Soumya Anand. Brevity is the soul of the wit. This question is very, I am very proud of having framed this question ki but just two lines Not my lover bhi aagya, sports person bhi aagya. Very nice. Self-appraisal. This is what they say, no? Office mein. Yes. Is this uh, Michael Jackson, Billie Jean and Billie Jean King? Yes! Beautiful crack. <laughs> Michael Jackson, Billie Jean and Billie Jean King. Beautiful. Full 10 points to team B. And now we come to team 1. Uh, team winners. Okay, talking about, uh, this is an etymology question, uh, certain word and where it comes from. X is one of the five cities of the plain uh, referred in Genesis, subject to, and they were subject to Shadow Laomer of Elam, which rebels against him, the city rebelled against him. Uh, Shadow Laomer defeats them and takes many captives, including Lot, or Lot, the nephew of the Hebrew patriarch, Abraham. Abraham ga gathers his men, rescues Lot, and frees the cities. God sends two angel, angels disguised as men to X, where the men of X threaten to rape them. Okay? God then destroys the city with fire and brimstone. What modern word is derived from the name of this biblical city? Okay? 
So, 80 question, and this is the funda, this is where it comes from. Okay, uh, this one okay. is uh, just a wild guess. Is it Janus and January? Ah, no, no. Going to team so so. This Sodom, Sodomy. Yes, that is correct. The sin of Sodom. Sodom, Sodomy. Sodomy, the word comes from here. Beautiful. Uh, team C is also now on 50. So 50, 50, 40. Okay, 40, 50, 50. With three more questions to go. Crazy. Nice, nice. Okay, going to team dot PPT now. You're direct. Uh, talking about two individuals. Okay, and this is one of the legends of pro how they might have met once. Okay, the legendary encounter of the two is generally said to have taken place in Corinth, where Y lived in his later years. The only occasion, the only occasion on which X visited Corinth was soon after the death of his father in 336 BCE. X would have been 20 at the time, and Y would have been around 70. Okay. In the most famous exchange of the meeting, X asked Y whether there was anything he could do for him. Y, who was enjoying the warmth of the autumn sun, answered, stand aside to stop blocking the sun. Okay? This abrupt response shows his utter con contempt for the power and prestige that X craved. Okay? Legend has it that Y and X died on the same day. Tell me who's like, who, which legendary encounter are we talking about? It happened in Corinth, where Y was much older than X. Uh, X would be around 20 then, Y would be around 70. And apparently this is what happened. X, who was pretty popular, went there and he said, can I do anything for you? And Y was like, thoda side ja. <laughs> Something like that. And yeah, legend also has it that X and Y died on the same day. Uh, right. Okay, Yeah. we have guesses. Yes. Is it Alexander and Aristotle? Okay, I'll give you part points. Okay. You get point for Alexander. Okay. So five for Alexander, and we go to team winners for the older guy. So I'll add this hint that Alexander is the younger guy. Alexander is X, basically. Tell me why. I won't say. <laughs> <laughs> Brajesh. <laughs> Alexander once met Brajesh in Corinth. He like, dude, Brajesh, what do you want? He said, I'm going to get up in the side. And he's like, you're from India, you're going to get up in the side. I don't know what the equator is. This is Aristotle, yeah. Is it Socrates? Not Socrates. Team Plato. It's like the classic thing. Aristotle, then it's Plato. He, he told no, me no, earlier no. only. No, no that's no, not no, right. Not. None of Damn. those three. Can you imagine? None of the above. What? <laughs> he was all like, uh, let the others answer. Eliminate oh, jaga, fir I'll answer lege. Plato. No, no, no. Okay. Um, so I'll give a hint. We'll start again. This is a 2.5 question now. Uh, so the hint, of course, one major hint is none of these three names. Um, but good track. Uh, so the hint is dash the cynic. Does that help? If you want to add... Basically, Aristotle, Socrates, Plato are all done. Dash the cynic. Should I add more hint or is this good? Add, add, add. Add? add it starts with D. D for delta. Oh. Oh. Are you blocked? Okay. It starts okay. with D, you said. Yeah, D for delta. Um, I, I just want to uh, add that yeah, strategy yeah, so is happening right. here yeah. a lot. Is it, uh, is it Dionysus? Dionys Dionys Dionysius. No, can't, no. can't give okay. it. No, no, can't, can't ask to improve on this. Especially second round. First round, we could have asked. Okay. Team, team winners? No, Dante? Not Dante. Uh, Diogenes. The same. Yes. <laughs> that is correct. Alexander and Diogenes, the cynic. Okay. So 2.5 to them and 5 to them. And the question, uh, and the question. question will now go to them. Team 1. Because they got five on this, so they got more points. So going to team one, which is winners, team winners. When facing danger, all animals, human included, usually fight or flee if they deem that it is likely to win their, win their attack. If not, then they flee. The third case, that is freezing, occurs when they face a formidable enemy 
and realize that they can't escape. This situation is described as tonic immobility. This freezing offers a painless death since the mechanisms of pain are suppressed due to beta endorphin, a hormone produced by the brain, and it is 50 times more powerful than morphine. Now, Peter Levine, who is a psychologist who specializes in, uh, specialized in uh, PTSD, named this freezing state as something. Okay, at this point, if all three teams want, I can add a hint. Otherwise, we can just take one. Team one. Yes, okay, give hint. <laughs> give hint? <laughs> hint, all, all, all three of you want yeah. hint? Uh, so hint is, uh, think mythology. Okay, that's a hint, so think in that track. Uh, I'm looking at a at one word. It's a two-word answer, but I'm just looking at the first word actually. Uh, then it's, it's Midas touch, not Midas touch. Uh, going to uh, Team Soso. Is it narcissist? No. Going to. Is it Medusa effect? Beautiful answer. It is Medusa <laughs> complex. It is Medusa complex. Man, that weight would have been insane, right? From here to there to yeah, this. Yeah. Did you know Medusa before the mythology hint? It was so, we were, no, not before. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Same consonants, different vowels. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's why I like listened Dhyan Se again. But Medusa complex, okay, freezing or like, you, know, you now know. Okay, so now I think we know the winner, right? But we'll see. Again, uh, What a surprise, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll go to team uh, team winners now for the last question. Uh, okay, in front of uh, Shaheed Baba Nihal Singh Gurudwara in Punjab, there are multiple shops that sell toy models of airplanes uh, people offer in the Gurudwara to get one specific wish fulfilled. The Gurudwara is known as X Gurudwara. Okay, there are many such temples on Gurudwaras all over India. Chilkur Balaji Temple in Hyderabad, Khadia Hanuman Temple in Ahmedabad, Hanuman Temple on Ignu Road in South Delhi, and many more are also known as ex-temples, okay? And always draw a huge crowd. What's the wish that the devotees are making in this temple? So just tell me what is ex? So the Canadian visa. Uh, I'll give it to you. It's just visa, not oh. really. <laughs> They're not. It's visa temple. <laughs> They're not being that specific. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, Ron, just like just he's like a Canadian visa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like KV, you know, I don't believe in stereotypes and all those things. Completely clean. That's that. why I added. See, if it was only Punjab, then Canadian. Man, I I'm added in Hyderabad also. I'm trying to imagine like Devaya for the first time. He goes somewhere in Europe or whatever, and he sees like a Sardar. He's like, fuck, you here, up there. It's crazy. <laughs> Visa temples, not Canadian. <laughs> Bhagwan, please, Canada visa. Shenzhen, nahi chahiye. Wapis. Canada visa Crazy. Crazy life. Crazy, crazy. Let's do a final check of the score at uh, third or bronze medal goes to uh, Devaya and Jay on 50 points. What? Team team winners. Team winners. <laughs> See, I saw this coming. <laughs> Silver medal goes to Team Soso, -so, Sophie and Soumya. <laughs> and like Sophie said, surprise, surprise. Wow. Team, uh, the team that wins uh, this edition of Quizzing with the Comedians offline in Mumbai with 65 points are Anand and Rohan Joshi. Now that we have won, we have decided to formalize our relationship with a handshake. <laughs> uh, just want to let everybody know. Why not this friend? It's a relationship. Yeah, strategic partnership, as Anand would say. <laughs> okay, that brings us to the end of this edition. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This, uh, this means a lot to us. Like I said, 
Uh, and for all of us, all of us have been involved with quizzing. Like Balraj reminded me yes, uh, yesterday, Balraj, who uh, like basically is the person behind all of this, the, all the support that we get at Habitat. And Balraj said, I remember uh, Biswami Rohan would ask Balraj, ki ek room niche mil sakta hai kya quiz karna hai saath mein? <laughs> That's where it started, and th that has led to a show at, uh, at Above the Habitat. So we've come through. Uh, thank you so much. All, all because of your support. Thank you so much, uh, Dev. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sophie. And thank you so much, Rohan. And thank you to the three of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone.